Well, they seem to be everywhere. Moths taking over backyards and front doors. The problem's so bad that a swarm of moths actually delayed a JetBlue flight yesterday. So why are we seeing so many moths all of a sudden this summer? And what can you do about them? Christina Hager has the story. All new at 6. We found them swarming a car on Deer Island. They're kind of like really nasty and gross. And everywhere. Never seen as many moths as I've seen in the last couple of days. Moths. Yes, moths stopped a plane from deboarding after landing in Boston. Delayed by moths. That's a new one, tweeted Josh Deering. We are nearing 20 minutes of moth-related delay here at Logan. Then this photo from the jetway when he finally got out after midnight Tuesday morning. So why this moth invasion? Well, the head of the state's forestry health program blames several years of unusually dry weather. He says normally there's a Japanese fungus that kills these moths before they're even caterpillars. It's been so dry that fungus can't thrive, so the moths do. That damage is pretty much done. Arborist Mark Bezra showed us tree after tree with chomped up leaves. It's uh, a tough thing to deal with uh, during the summer because there's really not much we can do about it and people have to just be on guard for the following spring. Get used to them, say the experts. If I park my truck in my garage and I leave my windows open, they'll go inside my truck. Unless we get an unexpected hard drenching for weeks or months next spring, these buggers will be back and maybe even worse. It's kind of creepy. Christina Hager, WBZ News. Yeah, not my favorite. When I came home from work the other night, there were so many of my front door, I was trying to Get in there without letting them in. It's true. You next shut the light off and you run in. Yeah. Next thing you know, your sweaters have holes in them. <laughs> it's true.